name's Carl Jensen, and this is just a, uh, a quick test of uh, how power factor affects your home PV system. All right, so what we see here is the load that's on the house at the moment, 6.45 kilowatts, we're running an air conditioner, and at the moment we are generating 7.05 kilowatts. Now note that these numbers are pretty rough because of the way that they're uh, measured. So if I go across to the meter, you'll see that we have a current draw being registered from the grid as 6.2 amps. However, you'll note carefully that the light is not flashing. This is because we're using some reactive power from the grid, which we're not being billed for. I'll stay there for a bit longer just so that we're all pretty confident that it is in fact not importing and the reason why that that light would normally be flashing quite uh, quickly. Now if I press the button again, it shows me the power factor and you'll see that we're leading by around 0.3. Now I can change the, uh, turn on my pool pump. Which I do here. Pool pump's now on. Now you see my power factor has now changed a little bit more and if I scroll through you'll see that I'm drawing a little bit more current than I was before. I was drawing 6 point something amps before, now it's 7.2 and you'll see that the light is flashing fairly slowly so we're importing a little bit of power from the grid. There it goes, it'll come on again in a second. Yep, so we're not importing much power from the grid, but you'll see that our generation is still at 7.07 .07 kilowatts, and our, um, our consumption is 7.09. So we're now uh, consuming just a little bit more than what we're, uh, we're generating, but you'll notice that we're still pulling 6.7 amps from the grid, and the little light's flashing. And if I turn that pool pump off again, that light will not come back on, even though we're drawing 6.6 .6 amps from the grid. That's purely because we're taking reactive power from the grid. 